So unless you're living under a rock, you've noticed the fact that many brands out there are going smaller. Lots of watch brands are downsizing their cases for very popular models within their lineup. Last year, Christopher Ward announced the Sea Lander, a sea and land watch, basically their Aquaterra for the Christopher Ward lineup. And today we're taking a look at the 36 millimeter version of the Sea Lander. It gets all the same specs in a smaller package. So let's flip the camera and take a look at the new 36 millimeter version of the Sea Lander from Christopher Ward. So many brands moving in the direction of smaller watches, but I believe also collectors are sort of moving in that direction as well. For myself, I like a watch that's in that 38 to 42 millimeter range. I think 36 is a good size for my wrist. I do have a seven and a half inch wrist, but I wear more vintage watches in that range. So I have vintage watches that range from 34 to around 40 millimeters. Um, 36, 37 millimeters really the sweet spot for a vintage watch in my opinion. So these will wear similar to the way a vintage watch would wear. Now 36 millimeters this is their first watch that they're doing in 36 millimeters I believe from Christopher Ward. And of course it is the Sealander because it is their sort of go everywhere, do everything sort of watch. So it is the Sea Lander, obviously. You get 150 meters of water resistance. It's sort of like their Aquaterra. If you're familiar with the Aquaterra from Omega, it's their sort of go everywhere, do everything watch. That's what this is. It gets the light catcher case. So you get the light catcher case that looks really good. These cases are very well made, all stainless steel. You get a screwed in crown, screwed in case back. You get a fixed bezel, obviously it is a smooth, bezel that is just brushed. You have some polishing as well on the edges of the bezel as well. Uh, you have a flat sapphire crystal with AR coating, and then you get the typical Christopher Ward handset, uh, and then applied indices. Those applied indices get lots of loom. It is Superluminova X1 BL C1, so it should be good. And they usually liberally apply these watches with loom. Obviously, there is no other loom anywhere else, so it is only the indices and hands. They did do a good job with the dial set up here. A lot of people complain about the words Christopher Ward being on the dial. A lot of people don't like that. They especially do not like it when it is at the nine o'clock position. All they did here was put the Christopher Ward logo at the 12 o'clock, just below the 12 o'clock index. Above the six o'clock index, which is really the date, you have automatic and 150 meters of water resistance. That's all printed in a white color, so white enamel. Uh, I don't believe any of that is loomed or anything like that. And then of course, uh, the dial is in a Tiffany blue color. They're calling it Lucerne blue, but it is like an aqua blue, or aquamarine blue. And then of course the strap in that same color. Something I like that they did on this watch, they put a little sort of, I guess it's like a silk keeper that keeps the keeper in place. And if you ever see people on Instagram and their keeper is all the way up here when they take the photo, kind of annoys me. And this is actually a really good solution to that. You're not gonna notice this little piece of fabric on the underside of the strap, beautiful. And then of course you get the Christopher Ward buckle, which is a very nice solid milled buckle, which they use on all of their watches. I have it on my Christopher Wards as well. Uh, as I mentioned, screwed in crown is very large. This is a 36 millimeter watch, but let's do some quick measurements because I've measured it a few times and I get a little bit over 36 millimeters, around 36.5, 36.34, depending on where I catch it. And there are crown guards. So if you measure it at the crown guards, again, uh, it's gonna wear a little bit larger. So uh, 37.2. I do think this watch wears slightly larger than 36 millimeters. I think it wears like a 37 millimeter watch. So 39.4 with the crown. So those are the measurements. It's about 11 millimeters thick, 10.9 millimeters thick, which is not a thick watch. You do get to see the Salita SW200 in the back. It is a Swiss made watch, obviously, Swiss made movement. Uh, Salita SW200, clone of an Eta movement, the 2824. Very good movement with that one extra jewel. Uh, obviously, very reliable, and they use this in basically all of their watches. Uh, the lug to lug here is pretty good as well. Usually the lugs to lugs on a Christopher Ward because of the nature of the light catcher case are very good. So 42.7 millimeters crown 
6.2 millimeters. So very large crown considering the size of this watch. Uh, the proportions here, I think they got very, very good. They did a great job with the proportions on this watch. Like I said, it does wear a little bit bigger than 36 millimeters. I think it wears like a 36 and a half or 37. That's because I think it is a 36 and a half millimeter watch. So very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist. Then we'll talk about price and then we will do a quick loom shot. So today I have a phenomenal watch on. This thing is ridiculous. However, you can see it is large. So they have not reduced the size on this watch. So this is a Moser Pioneer second, Center Seconds, excuse me. And it's a watch that I have been talking about on my channel for a very long time. Uh, I've never actually had the chance to experience one and I am very, very happy to be able to. And this is pretty amazing. You can see that dome to, their, to the sapphire crystal, their sort of cutouts on the sides of the watches. It sort of gives you a little bit of a futuristic vibe to it. And then of course the in-house movement, beautiful movement, uh, just a really sick dial. I love this dial. A lot of people don't like these dials. They kind of think that they are cheesy. You know, I can't disagree more. I, I love them so much. Uh, I think it's just a, a phenomenal dial and overall a phenomenal watch in my opinion. So anyway, here we go. Here is the Christopher Ward Sealander. So this is C63 Sealander, 36 millimeter on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see what I'm saying. Now, they're making this in a bunch of different colors. They have like an orange, a green, a blue. I think they have a black and a white as well, and you'll be able to get this on a bracelet. So I don't know why they came out with the colorful versions first, uh, but the other ones are available on their website or, or there's pictures of them. I believe they are available. Uh, I definitely would uh, you know, get this on a bracelet rather than this strap because it's a little bit of an overload. But I think on a strap, on a, on a bracelet, this would look good. Obviously, they're going for that OP look, uh, you know, the Rolex OP. I get it. You know, it does it does work. Uh, but the black and white versions, I think, will probably be their best sellers. There you go. So I have a seven and a half inch wrist just to remind you guys. I know people make fun of me because I say that all the time, but it is important. So you guys know what size watch you're looking at and the size of the person's wrist. There you go. Uh, so price on this is $765. Now, uh, that's pretty much in line with all of their watches. $765 gets you a Swiss made watch, Swiss made movement, lots of loom. And uh, this is a limited edition, so I don't think this is more expensive than the other editions that are currently available. Uh, and obviously it's more expensive on the bracelet. I would always go with the bracelet. In fact, when they said they would lend me a watch, I asked them for the bracelet version of this. And unfortunately that was not available. So I said, okay, send it to me on the turquoise or, or blue, Lucerne blue strap, no problem. But like I said, always with Christopher Ward, get the bracelet and then buy a strap separately or put your own strap on it. They offer quick release. Um, and they are obviously very easy to switch out. And then they offer on the fly micro adjust. So you cannot beat the micro adjust on their watches. It's easy, it's simple, it's actually very well made. I have experienced other quick release and micro adjust systems on many other brands. Uh, and specifically the, the micro adjust system on Christopher Ward is smooth and easy to use. Um, so micro brands are trying to do it, other micro brands, uh, they can do it, but just not as smooth as Christopher Ward. Anyway, very quickly, a loom shot. Well, there you go. Really good loom on here. Very, very bright, very liberally applied to the indices and hands. Obviously no loom anywhere else because there is no bezel. There's no rotating bezel on here. So no loom on there. Otherwise, excellent loom. They usually do a very good job. I wish there was loom on the second hand. That would probably be my only complaint about the loom. Other than that, of course, the light catcher case. And like I said, if you get the bracelet, it's definitely worth it. I think this would be a pretty amazing watch on a bracelet. It wears very nicely, like a 37 millimeter watch. So definitely uh, consider that if you are thinking about buying this watch. It's like a 36 slash 37 millimeter, in my opinion. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of Christopher Ward? What do you think of the industry and collectors and people moving towards smaller watches, myself included? 
<laughs> Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.